Hello, welcome to another Taekwondo lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to perform Won Hyo Tul, which is the fourth of 24 patterns in Taekwondo, and it's practiced by a sixth cup, green belt student, and above. If you've been watching all my previous Taekwondo lessons in my channel so far, you'll know all the movements required for Won Hyo Tul. But rather than showing you the whole pattern, it's best you practice a couple of sequences which are included in the pattern. The first of which is a twin forearm block in our stance followed by a knife and high inward strike, still in our stance, and then you go into a fixed stance to do a punch. If you're not sure what fixed stance is, just check my stances video. Basically, it's a bit like L stance, but a bit longer. It's a, uh, just over a foot width longer and the weight distribution is 50-50 rather than 70-30. So this helps to bring the weight forward into the punch. But when you change from L stance to fixed stance, you've got to make sure that you control the weight with the rear leg. So you've got to move back so that you've got the weight on the rear leg and your foot will come back to about one shoulder width distance from the other foot. So it comes back about a third of the distance of the stance. And then you relax your arms, reach forward with the opposite arm as you raise your body, then bring the punching fist to your hip and then drop sharply, pulling sharply with the opposite hand and stay half facing on the punch. And make sure your weight distribution is 50-50. So the whole movement will be like this. You relax, you pivot very slightly at the beginning. You relax and then do the twin forearm block. You relax, open the arms and strike and look in the direction of the strike. Make sure your fingertips are eye level and then you pull back and punch into fixed stance. So practice that sequence going left and right, bringing your feet together as you change direction. So that sequence of three movements is done four times in the pattern, which covers 12 movements, which is a big proportion of the 28 movements in one year two. So it's worth practicing and getting that right. Another sequence, which is done twice, also includes three movements. First being circular block in walking stance, and then you do a low front snap kick followed by a reverse punch. So you kick, you dip down, then you do a, a punch. Now when you do the front snap kick, you've got to hold that blocking arm in the same position, shoulder height over here. And then you've got to kick at the umbilicus level because it's a low front kick and continue the side wave to do the reverse punch. So practice that going forward a few times. So now you're ready to practice one your two. The starting position is close ready stance type A, which looks like this. So check my stances videos for more details, but basically you're closing your right fist, covering it with your left hand, fingertips on the knuckles, and your hands are 30 centimeters away and your feet are together. Then you do the first sequence that I showed you. You pivot and drop, relax in that position, then do twin forearm block, followed by a knife hand inward strike, and then a fixed stance punch. Then you bring the feet together, keep your hands relaxed, and then repeat to the other side. And then you bring the feet together, but stay half facing at this stage. Then do a bending ready stance. Then you do a middle side kick with a punch, and then knife hand garden block. Make sure you pivot the foot 75 degrees outwards and back again when you do the kick. Then you follow up with another two knife hand guarding blocks in our stance, and then go into walking stance, straight fingertip thrust. The next movement is like the ninth movement in Dangun Tul. You pivot with your front foot to our stance, turning your body 270 degrees counterclockwise, performing a 
between forearm block and then you continue with the sequence as we did earlier bring your feet together do it the other way and then you bring your feet together right foot in and your body should be half facing bring your left leg forward for circular block then continue with the sequence low front kick reverse punch then on the spot do the circular block again front kick reverse punch and then you have to step forward doing a bending ready stance so bring your right foot forward then lower yourself and do a side kick with a punch and then you step across to the side front you're basically moving backwards uh, diagonal and you're placing your foot exactly where you started the pattern then you pivot forearm guarding block feet together forearm guarding block the other way and then move your right foot to return to close ready stance Taipei so here's an example of the pattern So that's one year tool, and very soon I'll be covering the fifth pattern, you'll got tool. But I need to show you some additional movements which are included in that pattern. So I'll cover that in the next few lessons. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.